Wow one warriors, welcome back to second part of tutorial for KDF faction in Star Trek Online. In the first part we have learned that my character is second officer on the ship I named IKS Wolwell. The crew was thirsty for battle and their wish was fulfilled when our ship met with IKS Sekpa, which transferred a Federation prisoner to us. Immediately after that, Starfleet Galaxy class cruiser appeared and attacked us. Our ship was damaged and also boarded by the Federation Commando in an attempt to free the prisoner. But my character disrupted their plans with his disruptor gun and also learned that our captain is actually helping Fats, that he is a traitor. Endymion then informed First Officer Doran about this and she attempted to remove Churlak from his post by dueling him in combat, which she sadly lost. So I am now First Officer and need to deal with that petach of a captain myself. Well, let's see how it will go. We will proceed to the bridge now and comfort Captain Churlak. So we are back on the ship and let's take turbo lift to the bridge to confront the captain. You can see the sparks, the ship is still damaged, but there is also uh, another crew members to see what I'm going to do. take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but I stand for the crew. So, our captain has interesting uh, idea here that we are not going to win the war against the Federation and perhaps he has a little bit of a point here because uh, while the KDF is attacking uh, Federation borders, they've actually didn't make uh, any big progress. Uh, Starfleet is defending the borders and they didn't advance much against the Federation. The powers are even, I would say. So, okay, he has a point, but still he is a coward. That's not a Klingon way to do. We are at war, so we are warriors. We need to fight. So you are covered, you dishonor yourself. I plan on living a long and prosperous life. I see about I'll that. Give you one last chance. Stand down, or your corpse will be cooling on the deck next to the runs. What say you? I say you belong in Gretor, and I will send you there. Gretor is something like hell for humans. As you wish. I've killed one hero today. Why not litter the deck with the body of another? Draw your weapon and try Switching to die to well, fool. Let's fight him with me in the weapon and challenge, challenge Captain Turek and claim command. They have typo there. Turek. Hey, fight with Butlet. Okay. Who likes to fight? Yay! Oops. Give me 
meter covered. Oh, no blood on my butler though. But it sounded wet. <laughs> ha! Well fought! An honorable victory! Under Imperial law, you are now the captain. I will enter the change of command into the record of battle. I am Kagan, son of Kerr. I now take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but I stand for the crew. Acknowledged. When can the ship be ready for battle? Engines and shields are online, sir. Engineering expects to restore our weapons soon. The cloaking device may take a bit longer, however. Understood. I want this vessel battle ready soon, Lieutenant. See Lieutenant Kagan. Uh, yeah, I can see him. Oops. And the glitch. Talk to him again. The Starfleet vessels that attacked us are still in the area, and a Sekpa is moving to engage them in battle. There is glory to be found there. What are your orders, Captain? Okay, so we will join Sekpa in battle as soon as possible, and I need to move to the front of the captain's chair and take command. So this is end of another part of tutorial and we will gain experience points and expertise points which will probably advance us to the next level because as you can see on the upper bar we are almost done in this level. There is only few points missing so congratulations yeah. for you upgraded to the next level we are now warrior level two but none rewards so far take command of the IKS war wealth yeah the chair is mine And now we are on the edge of Klingon space. Captain, there is no sign of the Sekpa on scanners. We do not know if the Feds destroyed her, but I suggest we not worry about that just yet. Engines and shields are operational, but we need Iridium to facilitate immediate repairs to other systems, and our Iridium stores were lost in the ambush. Hmm. Fortunately, there are some asteroids in the vicinity that might have what we need. Okay, so we need to collect iridium, and we are now in space. Increase your speed using P. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. And we will now learn how to fly our ship. And we have received Kigan as our duty officer, or bridge officer, I should rather say. And he is tactical officer. This is our ship, Klingon Bird of Prey. It's a pretty small ship. And this is the energy bar. We have energy for uh, weapons, shields, propulsion and auxiliary. And you can change wherever you want. It goes, this is, uh, these are our shields and hull. This is for speed. These are our weapons. We have forward looking dual heavy destructor cannons a photon torpedo and as you can see there is an arc if you hover above the weapon and in the aft there is this disruptor turret which has 360 degrees these windows are for our bridge officers we have only Kagan so far and he has torpedoes high yield which upgrades damage to our torpedo If you hit you, you can see your ship. We have very, very basic equipment so now, but it will be okay. Here are our officers, only Kagan so far. And if you go to station stop, you can see that we have only three bridge officers on the ships on the ship available. 
got so far only to Ghana. So, we need to go forward and use the keys, E key, to increase the speed. Helm, full stop! Captain, I recommend we use the scanners to see if this contains any iridium. Hey, I'm a science officer. I know what to do with scanners. No iridium on the scanners, but that nearby asteroid field may have what we need. Alright, so let's move. We have also evasive maneuvers here, which increase Captain, our speed. I recommend using full impulse to reach the asteroid. Okay, but that's not enough. Our clock is disabled and we need to go full impulse to reach the destination more quickly. Cloak is disabled, still, uh, still under repairs. As you can see, normal speed is very slow. It would take a lot of time to get there, but full impulse is much faster and all, ne all energy goes to engines. Hell, full stop! Captain, I stopped the ship this time, but from now on you'll be responsible for controlling the speed of the ship. Okay, I will. So, let's scan for Iridium. We have found several asteroids that contain Iridium, Captain. Weapons are back online. Great. You have some info about firing weapons here. Mainly you need to hit spacebar, but you can also use Alt and spacebar for torpedoes uh, only or control spacebar for all, for all weapons but you can of course change this in settings also all weapons are now in green frame which means uh, that you are that they are on auto fire if you right click them you will put them out of auto fire but let's leave them like this Click on the target. And hit space bar to fire. Yes, let's take it. As you can see, the main firepower of this ship is pointing forward. Also, ship wings change position when out of combat. Just need the detail taken from movies. And I am also moving ship left and right slightly by using S or F key to stay in firing arc of my weapons. Captain, I'm picking up a Starfleet distress signal. Seems that the frigate looking for us took a hit in a nearby asteroid field. They are the same. They won't be out of action for okay. long. I suggest we put an end to their hunt while we can. What are Maybe your orders, Captain? Oh, prepare for battle. So, there is another ship, a frigate, instead of that galaxy class that attacked us. On the map, it's a big one. You can see the area around us, some asteroid fields, planet, and also where we need to go. It's basically in front of us, but out of firing range. Very nice nebula around, very, very colorf colorful. And we need to get closer to 10 kilometers to be able to fire on target. Too late for ya. Sir, a Federation repair team just moved in. I suggest we take them out as well. Oh, very well. M more battle glory for us. 
Another two frigates. Miranda class. It's very easy in tutorial to destroy them. It's not always going to be this way, especially in TFOs. Captain, the feds are jamming our sensors. We can't get a lock on the Sigma while they do. We have determined the location of the ships that are jamming us, however. We should eliminate them so we can continue our search for the Segpa. It will be a tough fight, but the crew hungers for battle. I think we're up for the challenge. Your orders, Captain? Yes, we are. Find and destroy the ships jamming your sensors. Ready the cloaking device. Which is great. Um, we can cloak now and it gives a bonus to damage when you decloak. I am also going to switch uh, this on the chill levels view as I prefer it. So let's cloak. And as you can see, our shields are down and the ship changes to this coast frame. Let's go closer. And we need to attack immediately after the cloaking. But it's still very slow, we are far away. But I don't want to use full impulse as it, it, as it uh, draws energy from all systems, including weapons. And then it takes time to transfer it back. So, but you can help yourself with... Uh, um, Evasive maneuvers. Okay, let's load torpedoes, the cloak, and attack. And I'm always trying to face the enemy. But now I'm too close, so I will go a little bit further. Turn around and then attack again. I need to torpedo to help me finish this battle. Alright. So be careful about uh, other ships blowing up near you. The explosion can deal a lot of damage and Enemy sometimes even destroy you. Jamming effect neutralized. We are clear to resume our search for the seg park. Your orders? Assume scans for Klingon vessels. Scan for Sekpa. On minimap you can see this the pointer. This is Captain Kagnar of the IKS Sekpa. Where is Captain Churlek? Churlek is dead. I challenged the coward for command of the War of Wealth and emerged victorious. Ha! <laughs> Finally! That miserable Topa! been a blight for far too long. Congratulations. May you bring glory to your ship Thanks. and your house. Speaking of I will. Which, do you want to join our fight against this Federation Patak? My long range cards sure. are down, so I cannot notify High Command of the situation. Katla. Our disruptors thirst for more Federation holes to lance. Communications officer, make a report to command. Give them our coordinates and tell them we are moving to assist the Sekpa in battle. Helm, set course to the Sekpa. Battle stations. Captain, the Starfleet vessel is hailing us. Do you wish to respond? Oh, USS Musashi wishes to speak to us and I can either ignore them or talk to them. So let's hear what they want. Federation ship USS Musashi hailing incoming Klingon vessel. This is your opponent, Musashi. Do you wish to Captain, surrender? Klingon Defense Force reinforcements are warping in. Oh, that was quick. Captain Jerlek, what are you... Wait. Where is Captain Jerlek? Jerlek is dead. I am in command of the world well, then, I now. assume you realize how outgunned you are? I'll cut you the same deal I had with Jerlek. Give us your prisoner, and we'll let you escape, and live to fight another day. 
failure to comply means we'll disable your ship and take the prisoner by force. Bold words, Starfleet. I hope you are prepared to eat them. Well, well, it looks out. Like Starfleet wants a fight. Shall we give them one, Captain? We shall indeed. Make ready for battle and blah blah blah. And this is repetitive. Also, she is galaxy class and has enough uh, firepower to deal with several opponents, but four ships is too much even for her. Okay, I'm trying to stay on my side of its shield so I can punch through them. Now, go a little bit far away, turn again and fire on the same side and repeat. Turn and bye bye Musashi. You can see I was too close and my aft shields took hit. A little bit of damage to them. And this is Sekpa and two other ships. Let's stop and we contact Captain Kagdar. repairs are underway. But you need to get that Federation prisoner to Kronos immediately. I command is expecting probably want to space him by now. I know I do. But that would be a career-ending move for you. Just get him to Kronos. Alright. This seems really important, even though, as we've seen, he is not Starfleet officer. So, I will get rewards for this part of the tutorial. And we have Destructor Dual Heavy Cannons and a Shield Array. Congratulations, warrior. And we have finished another level. Now I am warrior level 3. And let's equip our new gear, weapons and shields. As you can see it's a little bit better than the one before. This is 2100. This was only 2000 shield capacity. Okay, but uh, before I warp to Kronos, I will end this part of the tutorial here. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.